Hi, and welcome to Starters Orders Online League, week six, day one of the National Hunt, where we're going to have some races from Sandown, Aintree, Kelso, and we're going to start off at Newcastle. But before all that, let's have a quick look at the leaderboard, the National Hunt side. So still at the top of the board is uh, Joshua Sutherland with 27 wins. Jim Murray's in second place on 23, although I haven't noticed any entries from him this week, so it could well fall down the leaderboard. Third is Paul Rhodes on 21. Fourth is Darren Thompson on 18. Then we've got John Morgan on 17 and Thunderspark on 11. Then Graham Clutterbuck on 10. Molly Etz on 8. Leon Van Rensburg on 8. But just slotting into the 10th position is Martin in Leadham now on seven. So fairly close at the top of the board, plenty of weeks to go. Let's have a look at uh, today's races. Well, first off, we're going over to the Toon, to Newcastle, where we've got the fighting fifth hurdle. It's a two mile group one, where we've got some good horses in there, orange eyes of Molly at Surfer, winner of the G1 Morgiana last week. Hoping to follow up, although uh, conditions might not be in his favor. There's also a couple of other well-known horses in there. So Usain Bolt for Paul Rhodes will be looking to get his second win of the season. And there's Hip to be Square for Joshua Sutherland, which has been a bit of a second-itis in his last couple of races. So hopefully we'll pick up a win this week. Then we just got the second race at Newcastle, which is the rehearsal listed handicap over three miles. A fairly open field there. You've got Gabe Breath of Martin Leedham, winner last time out in the Moors Millions qualifier. A step down in distance. So let's hope he can do well. Although I do notice one there called Staff M for Kevin Meenahan. Nicely weighted off 110. Can forget it, last week's run in the Hennessy. But uh, two previous wins prior to that, um, I would have thought that's a really good bet for the day. Then Doug's going to take us over to Sandown, where we've got four races. Where he's got the two, two mile four and a half G2 novice hurdle. Where a really small field goes there, just the seven of them where Meandre for Paul Rhodes will be looking to get his third win of the season and also Kingdom of Our Lord and uh, should go well and may well pick up uh, a three win on the bounce. Then he's followed that by another novice, it's another G1 novice over two miles. It's the Henry VIII novices chase where I think really looking at the, the field there, Tanisha for Thunderspark must be, he's a top rated horse in there, must have a good chance of following up. And you've got Darren Thompson's Toizo Valley which I'll probably be second again but he may well get up to first place then we've got the Tingle Creek another G1 over two miles again a small field which is disappointing nine horses go to post there where John Morgan's Ring Manella is rated just 140 but uh, a winner first time out in its first maiden right back on week one obviously been laid out for this and I think it will take some beating Goes, we've got a couple of handicaps the Bavaria handicap hurdle over two miles and then we move on to Aintree where Doug will also be calling them home where we've got the Betfred handicap hurdle over two mile four there's a fairly good field in there Molietz has got a couple of good runners top of the top of the tree and the weights will be zombie for Joshua Sutherland though it is firm conditions there and I think uh, that may help a couple of horses that probably haven't run that well I don't see a Hilltop Stables or a John Morgan in there, so it gives everybody else a chance for a winner. Then we've got the Beecher Chase over Aintree over three miles two. A couple of previous winners in there. Sounds of the Marina for Darren Thompson winner last time out. Eights the ground for Joshua Sutherland. But sneaking in on 137, which is going to give get some weight from most of those horses, is Molly Massini for John Morgan. And I think you could probably, over this week, pick all Mr. Morgan's horses and they'll probably all win. And then we're going to finish up with the Brett Fred Listed Chase over three mile one. There's some good runners in there. There's a few new horses from Alex Chelly's Karate or Karate. Molly at Surfer Break Free. Derek Hinton's Oh My God James and Martin Leedham's Carousel. But again, the one you've got to look for is top of the pile, top rated 165 is Royal Molly. Two wins, two races. I'd uh, be back in that one if I had any money. Then we got the one last race, which is the Grand Sefton Handicap Chase at Aintree over two mile five. Fairly big field there. We've got some good hurdlers as well as chasers in there. Sure, who will win that one? Again, you've got a John Morgan horse that's only run once. Came third last time out. He's going to be getting... Uh, he's going to be top weight. So hopefully that will give an opportunity. Oh, there seems to be planes flying over. And they're very loud, as you can hear. Oh my god, it's an attack. Ah! And then I'll be finishing up over at, for the last two races of the day over at Kelso. I've got the Scottish Borders National Handicap Chase over four miles, where the majority of the field have probably gone up against each other there. Cal Arrogantes Ellis Paul will hope to stay on his feet this week after winning the previous. 
and I think that's the only previous winner in the field so uh, good luck with that one Carl and then the last race of the day will be the Monteith champion handicap chase over two miles six is where top of the tree there often 40 would be money goes away for Darren Thompson which has been a bit unfortunate he's unseated his rider pulled up in the last two races but still going to be sitting at the top of the weights and a few uh, lower down may well have a good chance but I'd go for super bad for Kevin, Kevin Meenahan off of 104 and getting 35 pound uh, pull off the top so uh, good luck everybody this week I hope you're enjoying Ascot over at the flat I'll catch up with you later and join me for the fighting fifth hurdle at Newcastle now